All right, what we're going to do in this video is frequency distribution, which is basically the number of items within, a gr within groups or bins. So you have to make bins up for this particular um, frequency distribution. Now, again, I have the data here um, that I used in the previous exam examples, and this all came from that data set that um, I, I had. All right, now, after look, now you have ways that you can decide the bins that you want to use. Some people I know just eyeball the, the data and can do it that, that way after they have assorted uh, it. Some people actually go through a, um, method, a mathematical method. So what you can do to get the bins, you can do this operation, which would be... Remember, if in Excel, if you're going to do an arithmetic operation, you have to have the um, equal sign first. I'm going to do is get the maximum number, which is 47. That's the max. Minus the minimum number, the lowest number, value, which is 2. And since I only went 5 bins, I'm going to divide this um, way of deciding what is going to be the number of spaces within the bins by 5. And now it came up 9, but I'm going to round it up to 10 items within a bin. Therefore, my bins are 10, 20, 30, 40. So it's going to, when I do the fre frequency operation, it's going to look for all the numbers between um, 0 or 1 and 10 and then it's going to do the same thing 11 to 20 and so forth so let's see how we do the frequency distribution function first uh, make sure that, that that your labels are already set up now you're going to um, highlight the first cell where you want the numbers to start but you're going to highlight all the cells and I want that. I don't want that. Um, I'm going to highlight all the cells. Then I'm going to go up to func more func functions, statistical. I'm going to look for frequency distribution in the list. And there it is there. And then, now, data array. It's asking for a data array. That's all the data. So I'm going to highlight, um, in this case, um, cell A2. Sh control, shift down arrow to capture all the data. Then I want to put my cursor in the bin array, bins array, and I want to do the same. Control shift down arrow. Now this is the tricky part and it took me a while to, 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 to get used to this. Now you want to do the um, frequency operation in one quick sweep so you don't have to do it individually. So you should push down the control or shift, control, enter. And as you can see, the frequencies have um, been di divided. The number has been divided. For instance, between, um, between 1 and 10, there are four items. And if you highlight it, you can see there are four even down here on the screen, number of uh, items is counted as four. And if you do that, you will see that, that it is correct. Therefore, you just did frequency distribution using the frequency function.